Hey Gengar gang, what is going on? My name is Ryan, this is the Analytic Gengar, and welcome to another video. In today's video, friends, another PSA graded return. Good news slash bad news, depends on if you're a fan of me opening cards on the channel or not. Um, this is going to be the second to last video out of the 309 Pokemon card lot PSA return that was contained in the far larger 363 card PSA return. So if none of that made sense to you, all I will say is that there are a bunch of videos explaining this. Long story short, I submitted 363 cards to PSA. Of those cards, 309 of them are from a lot of Pokemon cards that I purchased from a seller on Facebook. And because of that, I am doing these videos first for the 309 cards, mostly because those cards will likely be up for sale or have already sold by the time this post has come out. The next set of cards, the remainder of cards from the 363 card submission are my own personal cards. So for those cards, we'll do them a little differently um, and they will still be PSA greater returns on the channel. They will just be released a little bit later on because I want to take my time with those. I want to make sure that I kind of tell you all the story behind those cards since they will be personally added to my personal collection. With that said, friends, today we're doing mostly whole on phantoms. I think 90% whole on phantoms and we have two EX Crystal Guardians cards. After that, next week's video will be Crystal Guardians, Dragon Frontiers, Diamond and Pearl. And that's really it. Um, so the good news is that I'm through with the bigger lot of cards, meaning um, there will probably be some light, you know, Pokemon card openings, TCG toolkit videos, that kind of stuff in order to kind of give me a little bit of a break. And then right after that, we will be going into my um, additional personal cards. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. First up's first, got a Deoxys Hollow. This is the attack version of Deoxys. So from last video, you saw that we had hollow versions of every single Deoxys form. This is the attack version. So let's hope for a seven. Yeah. And I've noticed for some reason, those cards keep getting sevens or nines. So it's kind of weird, but I'm not going to argue. Uh, here is a PSA 8 version of the card. So I got a 7 and 8 and ironically, I'm not even going to reveal the grade. Here is a PSA 9 version of that card. So that is really nice, really crisp. Um, three sequential cert numbers on the same exact card and they are happenstantially a 7, 8, and 9 in escalating order, which I'm also totally a fan of. Next up is next, we have a Flygon. Now, I don't know about you guys, and leave a comment down below if you agree, but I'm in love with grass type Pokemon cards because look how colorful they are. Like, especially after looking at like Psychic and Colorless, these are really refreshing. And there was a Meganium EX a few videos ago that I was absolutely like awestruck at. I just think it's such a pretty card. Here is one, has a really wicked print line. And I got an eight, so honestly not bad. There's evidence if you ever need it, that you can submit a card with a um, wicked print line. And even though it has the print line, assuming all things equal, it could get an eight. Here's a Gyarados EX, uh, Gyarados Hollow. This is one of the most uh, infamous cards from the set. I feel like a lot of people chase after this card, rightfully so, by the way, it's really pretty. Got a six. Don't know why it got a six. It does have a print line right here. You can see it. Um, and then I'm assuming it's some combination of scratches on the hollow foil and whitening and or chipping on the back. Typically with the six, you can still have, as long as the card is not dented in any way, shape or form, once you cross into five territory, you're probably looking at something that's either creased, dented or scratched to the point where cardboard is showing. This one got a seven, so incrementally better, but you can see right here, a pretty wicked amount of whitening on the corner of that card. Next things next, we have a Kabutops, which is pretty cool. I got to say, they really did a lot of sick hollows out of this set. This is an electric type Pokemon. Interesting note, it's Delta species, but doesn't bear the additional um, typing. So it's just one type and it's electric type instead of being what would typically be a fighting type Pokemon. Um, as Kabutops has historically been. Really good looking card, really interesting look at the Pokemon. Got a PSA 8, I'll take that. Next up, I'm not gonna reveal the grade, 
It got a seven, which is pretty cool. So I got a seven and an eight there. Next up, we have a Holon Phantoms Latias. And the Lati twins really got a lot of love, obviously in the generation they came out, but also in the future. Here is a Near Mint 7 version of that card. And then we also have a Near Mint 8 version of Latios. What I love is that it's fire and water, so they're not actually dragon types yet, um, but they just, they, in my opinion, they quite literally gave them types based on the color, which I find really funny. Here is a Hollow Pidgeot, really pretty card, I think, and ironically enough, it's EX Holon Phantoms just like the Kabutops was, but it does have the dual typing. It's Electric Steel type, and it's a Mint 9, so that's actually very cool. The back of this card's super crisp as well, so I'm actually very happy about that. Good looking card. Next up, we do have quite a few Rayquazas out of Holon Phantoms. Interesting because my theory about color dictating typing is not true. This card is steel and water type, which is interesting enough. And then it's a green Pokemon, so this is just a confusing card all the way around. This one got a nine, which I love, 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 love this Pokemon. I'm very happy because I do have quite a few Rayquaza cards now, and don't be surprised if one of these disappears in my private collection. It's likely to happen. Uh, here is another 9 of the same card. Got a woof. Okay, so the, the, the reason I'm laughing is because right now you can see Raichu is basically being split in half by a super bad print line. And that print line is all the way up here and then all the way down here as well. So this is a really rough card. Um, and in addition to that, a pretty wicked chip in the back. So that is probably what got the card a PSA 6. But love any good old fashioned card and like any good old egg of course there is a duplicate version of the card this one got a far better grade at a psa 8 which i'm actually very happy about now let's go ahead and pop that fella in then all right well this grade's already already been revealed don't be surprised, I'm warning each and every single one of you from now. You might see this card on the list, it's not for sale. This is a super dope Rayquaza Fire type. So as you can see, the Delta Species Pokemon were kind of all over the place. They gave it a Water type, and then quite literally in the same set, it also got Fire type treatment. And this card, dare I say, is Fire. This is the reverse foil of the card, but what you can see is that by Hole on Phantoms, they kind of toned it down a little bit. So the borders are no longer holographic on reverse foils. However, they are on certain hollow foils like right here. But then if you think that's confusing, wait till just a little bit later when I reveal the next card and you'll be even more confused about what's going on. So here is the Rayquaza, got a nine. And then here's an interesting tidbit. Here is a Mew out of Hole on Phantoms. And if you notice, it's just a single holographic pattern. This is the secret rare out of that set. And it got a PSA 8, but I love this card. I think it's so cute, um, but also so badass that it is a secret rare out of the set. And again, what I love about this card is that it bears nothing like any of the other cards in the set. So we've already kind of been through this, right? But here's what a regular hollow... Oh god, where went my lighting? Um, here's what a regular hollow would look like. Here's what the reverse foils look like by now. Mind you, back in the day, mind you, a couple sets ago, they had, you know, hollow all the way around. And now here is what the secret rare looks like. So this is such a card that is like so slept on. It doesn't even look like it belongs in the set, but it's so cool. Um, and I just think it's like a really nifty addition. Second to last is a 6.5 Excellent Mint Plus Blast Toys. I would honestly be surprised if there were another one of these cards in the world, but such a cool card. By the time Crystal Guardians rolls around, you'll notice that there's lots of crystals, um, but there's also, also Delta species. So that's how you know this is the holographic version of the card. Um, I honestly don't know why this got a 6.5. I'm, I'm happy because it's such a weird grade that it's like, hey, why not? But at the same time, I'm just kind of like, 
really? Like, what, what could you possibly have dinged it for? And get this, I got an 8 of the same card. So that's also part of the reason why I'm not pressed is because I knew there were do doubles, if not triples, of some of the cards. But I'm really excited that I got a 6.5. What a weird number. Um, I believe there are two additional cards. So in addition to the two that we have here, I also have two reverse foils, the ones that'll have the Crystal Guardians logo. So those will be very fun to look at when they come out. But with that said, friends, thank you again for checking out today's video. As always, everything here, or mostly everything, as I very easily disclaimed in this video, will be up for sale. Definitely feel free to hit me up or reach out if you are interested. As always, thank you for your viewership. If you think I earned it, feel free to leave that big old subscribe button clicked on to subscribe to the channel and make sure to turn on the notifications using the little bell icon in order to stay tuned because soon and very soon we will have the last PSA graded return for a little bit on the channel. We have been on a bit of a bender, not going to lie. I believe this is our 14th. Next up is going to be our 15th video. So for sure, it's been very fun opening up these cards and sharing this experience with you guys. That said, there is a little bit of a break coming when it comes to PSA cards, but the next video will actually be 29 cards. And then after that, we will go ahead and take a small hiatus. And by that, I mean, you know, other types of content will be coming out on the channel. And then finally, after that, we will have another set of PSA greater returns. And those you guys definitely want to stick around for. You'll have everything from Burning Shadows Secret Rare Charizards to Plasma Storm Charizards to Call of Legends Shiny cards. So I'm super excited. Each and every single one of those cards is going into my personal collection. So I am very excited to get to those cards. But first things first, let's get through the next video, which will be the last one for this 309 card lot. Thank you again for checking out today's video, friends. We'll see you real soon and we'll talk soon as well. Peace.